Here we have an email from Lynn Diaz Rico. And as we've already said, she is the architect of this MA Korean TESOL diploma mill. And so we can see this is, you know, today is July 7, 2018. You can see this email is about 20 hours old. So here we have her sending it out to a group of students, I guess, the BB at list on July 2nd, five days ago. And it's, of course, titled Unhappy Student. I guess she's talking about the students that were unhappy participating in this diploma mill and forced to be involved in plagiarism, who unlawfully received their federal financial aid. So, um, so let's take a look at the email. It really says a lot about Lynn Diaz Rico uh, in that she's dishonest. This is just a campaign of disinformation. So hello all. It looks like the MA in Tesla has once again been the target of an unhappy student. Once again been the target. Hmm. So there's some kind of pattern of people being unhappy with it. Well, sure. I mean, if you're Korean, you're, you're, you're laughing. Because that's what they were doing. They were hiding on their phones in Korea, pretending they weren't around when they were, in fact, all communicating with each other, you know, sitting back and letting us do all the academic work for them because we had groups, we were writing research papers. And again, their contributions to the program were nothing. They, were, they just weren't qualified to be in a master's program. They, they, could, they should have been in a baccalaureate program. And the university knew that, but they were cash paying students and the College of Extended Learning needs cash. They're cash hungry. So Lynn Diaz Rico cooked up this scheme and President Morales and uh, VP of Student Affairs, Brian Haynes, they all went along with it because this is, of course, this is a good idea, right? I mean, and this is fine. I mean, the thing is don't involve Americans in your fraud. Okay. And don't forget because these students were illegally admitted into Cal State, they entered America under a false visa, under an international visa that would have been a fraud as well, because they didn't possess the qualifications to actually be here in the United States territory. So this is another layer of the activities that Lynn Diaz Rico has been involved in. So um, they're saying that the that I was not successful. Well, the thing is, yeah. You report their ATM machine, you point out the fraud that they're conducting, and they're going to make sure you're not successful. If you pay for the fraud, like the Koreans do, they will help you all the way through. In fact, even in a final assessment, which was like this online test, they actually gave it to the Koreans. The Koreans had to be successful in order for them to go back and tell everybody else what a great program it was, and they can basically buy this, this piece of paper from Cal State San Bernardino. So, and then she goes on to say, and of course, she doesn't mention any of this in the actual um, MA TESOL conference that I do a video on that happened about a month or a month ago, you know, when I'm actually in this conference call and I'm telling her I need help. I would like to help him, but he has been forbidden to interact with campus personnel. Interesting. He's been forbidden. Well, this is real bizarre because I have no indication of that that I have been forbidden. I don't know if this is a court order she's talking about. This is some internal policy that Cal State San Bernardino has. But again, this is very bizarre. This is new information. This is not accurate. I mean, I'm forbidden for what? For reporting this fraud? That's all they could get me on. All the other misconduct just didn't wash. They had to lie about it. And they did lie about it. And they had to alter the suspension hearing transcripts. And they did alter those, those transcripts. They did everything they could to defraud the complaint. And by the way, these grievances have never been investigated to this date. And Rico knows this. And this is, I mean, it only gets more bizarre, right? Because this is a woman who's very dark, whose energy is very low, who has no vibrancy. If you look at her, she's just like a lump of flesh, okay? It's, her life's been sucked out of her. She sold herself off. So she's asking a group of people at Cal State San Bernardino to please join with me to send this soul to the light. I mean, this is it's so fucking cryptic. 
And this is, again, this bizarre behavior of these people. So they're going to send this, they're going to send my soul to the light. Hmm. Well, what does that really mean? Is that some kind of coded message, Dr. Rico? Are you involved in some dark activity? I mean, instead of helping me, instead of doing the right thing, instead of being honest and credible, instead of untangling this fuckery that they did to cover up this, this fraud, they're not going to do that as state employees. What they're going to do is she's going to have some fucking seance or something, and they're going to send my soul to the light. To the light. I mean, think about this. I mean, it's really bizarre. It's cryptic. It's freaky. And it really says a lot about Lynn Diaz Rico and really about the whole crew that she actually is sending out this email on this listserv at Cal State San Bernardino. It really shows a lot about this place. I would stay away from this place. If you're looking at going to Cal State San Bernardino or you're there and you've already got that feeling that things are really bad, I would transfer. I would get off that campus, get away from Morales, Haynes, and uh, this woman.